Lord Patel, tell us why there's a drive to generate interest and participation in this area. Um, in the area of cricket, generally, yes. I, I mean, I think the drive for participation is an interesting one because if you're Asian, you're six to eight times more likely to play cricket at grassroots level anyway. I think what for us is that participation needs to go across the board. So we need to see those young kids carry on playing cricket, we need to get them to the county levels, and then we need to see that translate at the national level. Did you feel on this West Sussex area the potential was not being tapped, was not being fulfilled? I think when you look at what people have done locally, it's amazing. But it is people have done it locally. It's grassroots cricketers who've enjoyed the game, who've developed it. We need to engage, and we as the organisations, the cricket clubs, the local authority, the NHS, we need to engage with this and work with them to develop it much further. And how much funding is required to try and generate the coaching of that and the, and the facilities? I think it's not just all about money. I think it's actually joining up the dots. You know, this, you can play cricket in isolation or you can play cricket with the school kids and you can engage the teachers, you can get the NHS on board, you can test people's heart disease, diabetes, long-term conditions, you can improve well-being, and you can get a whole host of organisations working together, putting small amounts of money in, but recognising the potential opportunities they are to access people's education, health and social cohesion through sport, and in this case cricket.